We're here at NAB 2019 at the Zoom booth with Samuel. Samuel, thanks for taking some time with us. Thank you for coming by. It's good to see you again. We were here last year, and last year you had the big announcement of the Zoom F8N, which has been a great recorder. I've done a lot of work with it now. Um, but you have something new for us this year. Tell us a little bit about this little guy. Sure. So this is the new Zoom F6. Um, so we have limited information, but um, but we do know some things about it. Uh, we'll start with kind of the basics. You have six inputs, XLR, the same preamps on our F8N. Um, you have a line output plus a headphone output, okay. um, as well as a time code input and output, same built-in generator from our F8N. Um, our power options have switched up a little bit on this unit. You have um, either four AA batteries, a USB-C port, or a L-series battery. Um, and the L-series battery you know, can power for probably for all day on set, um, so it makes uh, a lot of sense for us to have it on, especially with the small form factor we're talking about yep. here. And that's a built-in sled on the back of the unit. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, you can connect our BTA1 Bluetooth adapter and use the wireless app. You can still use the F-Control. Um, so all that's kind of the same, and it has a lot of the other features um, from our F4 and F8N as well. Okay. Uh, but with a couple of little extra things. And very important extra things, it sounds yes. like. So obviously form factor is very different here. Um, up, stepping up from the F4 series, we do have the, a really nice, what well, looks like a color screen. It's a little bit smaller, I think, than the F8. Correct, yep. Right? Okay, but it is color, and it's very high resolution, which I really love about the F8. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's a nice step. Um, different layout of controls, but you have something bigger than that. Yes, so um, internally in the F6, there is a dual AD converter. Um, which uh, we all are pretty familiar with the benefits at this point. Much bigger dynamic range. Um, the way we have our system implemented, it is impossible to clip the preamp. Your microphone will clip before um, you'll be able to clip this dual AD converter. Um, but we get the full benefit of that because after that, it hits uh, the ability to record a 32-bit float file. Okay. Um, so 24-bit has been the standard for a long time now, yep. um, and it has great quality, but there are some negatives. Um, the biggest one being that it records high volumes at a much better quality than low volumes. Um, the example of that is shotgun microphone, somebody's talking very loudly, maybe even yelling, and then they go to a whisper. What do you do? Well, you either completely lose the audio, or you have to turn the gain up. However, with a 32-bit float file, the entire dynamic spectrum is recorded at the same quality. So no matter what your gain settings are, that audio is going to sound the exact same way. So much so that uh, if you're recording in 32-bit, you don't need to set gain at all. Wait a second. What do you mean? <laughs> That's not, this is like a foreign concept. Yeah, so, um, these six knobs you see on the front are faders. There's no gain knob. Um, and for the 32-bit flow file, uh, the gain is irrelevant because no matter what the gain was set to, um, you're getting the same quality at the end. So instead, we have six faders, and that file is recorded post-fader, which is also a bit of a foreign concept. However, um, if you turn the fader all the way down, on all the inputs, and you record six microphones going into it, when you load those files into your DAW, you won't see anything, but when you normalize those files, you will get the same exact audio you would have gotten as if you had the faders turned up the whole time. Well, okay, okay, so, but at the analog stage, yep. it's applying, is it just applying a unity gain? Or? It's applying a unity gain. Okay. Um, as long as you have mic or line level set correctly, okay. um, the dual AD converters will make sure nothing clips. Okay. And then that unity gain just sends everything through to the 32-bit flow file. And once it gets there, it does not matter where that fader is set, the, uh, the audio quality is the same. You can almost think of it as um, a raw um, image or a vector file from wow. Illustrator. Okay, wow. Okay, so... Um, there's another, so that's amazing. This is a, like kind of groundbreaking in a lot of ways. I think we've seen, in the pro end of the market, there have been a few devices that could do something similar to that. Mm. Um, but then, the, I guess another question, is it an eight track recorder? So you get all six isolated channels plus a stereo mix? So that? yes, so you get the six isolated plus a stereo mix, and you can also record a 32-bit flow file and a 24-bit file simultaneously. Okay, wow. um, or you can choose one or the other. Okay. 
And is it still a dual SD card system? No, this one actually only has one SD card okay. in the F6. All right, good. Anything else about this one? This is I'm excited to get my hands on one, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else in terms of features that um, we talk about? No, that's really the basics of it. Um, we'll have some additional information that will come in probably in May, okay. um, along with the pricing for the unit, which we do not know yet. Okay. Um, okay. But obviously, we want to take the opportunity here at NAB. Um, you know, this is a technology we've now just been playing with for a little while, yeah. and. Um, it's a, it's a seeing is believing. Uh, I got my first unit about a week ago, and the first thing I did was say, all right, two signals going in, one fader up, one fader all the way down. I've got to see it for myself. And put it in the DAW, you normalize that file, and you wouldn't know the difference. It is, uh, it is really incredible. Unreal. Okay, very good. Samuel, right. thanks so much. Um, well, actually, before we go, yeah. Uh, you said May will start to learn more details at that point? Yeah, May should be more details and pricing, and then we're hoping that it will ship uh, second week of June, sometime in June. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So soon. Okay, good. Yep. Uh, can't wait to get my hands on one. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. Right.